Man, oh man. You just gotta love Video Games Monthly Delivery Day. Let's get it, y'all. What's good, everybody? What's the word? Blur, your boy Black Ranger here, and welcome back for another week of Black Ranger's Blurred Life, where we explore all things legendary and nostalgic in the world of Blurred the Nerd. I'm talking everything from movies, music, anime, comics, sci-fi, but a lot more of games and toys. And this week, as I said, yes, Video Games Monthly was just delivered, and we're gonna hop into it, but before we do that, if it's your first time, thank you for stopping by. We like to have a lot of fun here in the Blurred Life. If you want, stick around, check out some other videos, and just have a great time with the Blurred Life. If you subscribe, make sure you leave a comment and just say, I'm part of the Blurred Life. Save Blurred Life. Again, I dare you, I double dare you. And everybody else that's returning, thanks for coming back. Let's get into it, y'all. Now, Video Games Monthly, if you don't know, it's a monthly subscription service where you can get three, four, five, or a 10 game power pack. I get a three game pack. Hopefully I get a one up, but I am going to upgrade my game pack soon. Um, you tell them what system you want, and they send you games for it that you don't have. All right, my man Floyd right there, VGM. Let's get into it. Gonna open this up. And we're gonna see what we got in here. Now, I'm not looking now. Here's a card on top. Two cards we got. And like I said, we did get a one up. So that's great. And then this is just a regular card that says subscribe and they'll send you some stuff. I mean, um, you know, put it on online, social media, share it, stuff like that. So right now, I feel, I feel one, two, I feel three NES games. And this feels like a. It might be a Dreamcast game. We're going to see. Or it may be Wii U or some GameCube uh, in the generic case. So first we have our monthly little trinket, VGM monthly pin. Great to have this. Now, we're going to do this month's VGM a little different. We're going to go through the games, and then I'm actually going to play the games and say whether they were good or not. So let's check them out. So the first thing we have, we get all NES titles. Um, this is the front. I will show you all first. So boom. I see a little bit of yellow one going on, but this is Kings of the Beach. All right, cool. A volleyball game. Um, professional that. Beach Volleyball. Now, I did see this one time before at East Island when I went out there and thought about picking it up, but I didn't for some other stuff. So we're going to give this a try. Uh, a little dirty, but it is what it is. I think this one's going to be... Huh. Hmm. On the OK meter, yay or nay. Uh... Honestly, I'm gonna give it a yay. I think it might be actually kind of fun. So we're gonna check it out. <laughs> so first one, Kings of, of the Beach. All right, next, another NES title. The front is here. Show you all first. This one, this is five screw. This one is a five screw and we have Spy Hunter. All right, do I have Spy Hunter? I may or may not. I don't think I do but I may have it and may have never marked it on my list. I really gotta do better. I went on there and was marking stuff, but I have a lot of NES and I don't think I marked everything. Matter of fact, I'm looking at Spy Hunter right there, but it is good that I got this because I have some stuff coming up and this will be good to have for the plans I have. So Spy Hunter on the yay or nay list. I've heard a lot about it. I still haven't checked it out. I got it up there, but I'm gonna definitely say a yay for this. I always hear a lot about this, so we're going to definitely have fun checking that out. All right. Number three. Boom. Okay, so this one actually has a sticker on the back, so I can actually see it says silent service. <laughs> All right. Um, heard some stuff about this, too. Um, again, this is an ultra game. Ultra did a lot of things, Ninja Turtles and stuff uh, growing up. So, um, great company. Um, the cartridge itself is the cartridge is kind of clean. I mean, even though I'm taking this sticker off right here, 
um, the label's kind of, it's in decent shape, I'll say that. So I'm going to give this a, uh, I'm going to go with a nay for, for me, for my liking. It will be fun for me, probably. We'll see. All right, and last but not least, again, this is disc brace, and it, uh, whatever it is, it's sealed. So we're gonna turn it this way, boom. What the heck? You build it, you ride it. What is this? It is a sealed Dreamcast game. Um, Coaster Works, build the ride of your life. So, this is definitely kind of interesting to see a sealed Dreamcast game. I actually was just talking um, with someone who was like, Dag, I haven't gotten a Dreamcast game from my VGM box ever. And everybody was getting one in August and July. Now I got one in the seal, so, whew. Gotta check this out. Um, I think I just cracked it. I'll have to review and look and see if it was already cracked, but I think I just cracked this case. But I'm gonna say this would be a May. I mean, puzzle and stuff like that, that's fun, but I'm just putting the coaster together and then watching people ride it. I mean, I love roller coasters, but we're going to see how this is. So, again, these are the four games we got. We got Kings of the Beach, Five Screw, Spy Hunter, Silent Service, and Coaster Works, sealed for the green cage. Again, that's the name. So these two I said name, and these two I said again. Let's pop them in and check them out. All right, you guys, so we're here for part two. Got Kings of the Beach loaded up in the NES already. Got a brew. This is the Guayabara Citra Pale Ale from the Cigar, Cigar City Brewing Company out of uh, Florida, I believe it is. Yep, Tampa, Florida. Pretty good, so let's check out Kings of the Beach. I'm not gonna play a full game. Up to 16 could be a long time. But as I said, I said it would probably be okay on the fun meter, and it actually is pretty, pretty fun. I'm having a good time playing it. But let's hop into the next game and see how that is. said this one would be kind of fun honestly it's okay uh, haven't really I mean it's the first time playing at first level driving up and down shooting some cars running the other ones off the road jumping on the back of a vehicle I mean the premise itself is pretty fun the game can be pretty fun I think as I progress more in the game it will get better but to clarify something about this game when I unpack it, I kind of thought I had it, which I do. But this happens to be, again, the five new version, and the other one I had is the So, for all of us avid collectors, you know, there is a difference between a five screw and a three screw in the S game. This was a five screw, which is a little harder to find most of the time. So, I'm glad to actually have the five screw in the collection with that one. Now, let's check out the silence.
So, games, this is just practice, apparently. And this game, right here, very confusing. I mean, I kind of got the gist of it eventually, but if I was actually out on a mission in the game and search for all stuff, it'd probably take me forever to find it. So, as I said, I didn't think this was going to be too fun, and right now it's not. Damn. Could it eventually be? Possibly, but it's a you know, submarine simulation game. Well, simulation game. All games are simulation games, I think, but this is more of a. I don't even know what I want to say. Well, say. But it's going to be a note for me. Cool to have it in the collection. Love building the NES collection. But Silent Service, you know, for me as far as playing multiple times, revisiting. Gonna be a no. I said that I didn't think it would be fun, and it wasn't. Honestly, I don't think I'm even going to try this other game, this uh, Coaster Works game for Dream Pack. I mean, it's still in the plastic. In the game, we're just building roller coasters and riding. Design and build, they ride your very own game. So. I'm okay. No, that's enough for me. These two games. Honestly, the most fun I had so far, Kings of the Beach, honestly. Like, I can see me popping this in again, trying it out, actually having friends when they come over <coughs> to the play together. Thanks for stopping by for another week of Black Rangers for Life and checking out this BG inbox. Don't forget, you guys, run over to go to the gaming page, vote for Girth Tuber of the Month. You have until September 19th to vote for September. Gotta say it's slow. Or just take a drink. Which that could be better. Make sure you vote for Girl Tuber of the Month. Check out all the channels that are listed in this month's video. And check out the other videos. Go to Gaming and the other nominees for other months. Great channels for small YouTubers. And we would love to have support for all of them. Alright, you guys. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next week. Oh, wait. I almost forgot you guys. Love up on your family and friends because you never know when it could be the last time. And you're going to keep enjoying this very life you got.